Good morning, everybody. So today is Monday, August. I already forgot. Let me go look. Monday, 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 August twenty fifth. I just woke up. I'm gonna put my hair in a pony. Um, I haven't worn my hair down in like so long though. I think it's because I'm not really caring for the color it is or anything like that. It's just at that stage where I'm just like, merp. Um, but um, I'm going to definitely dye my hair soon. And I want to dye it black like I always do. So, put my hair up. Boom. Yep. Anyways, hope you guys are having a great day, great evening, great whatever. I have officially fell in love with this. I got this the other day, and I really enjoy using it. I get grossed out by, like, tumblers and stuff. <clears throat> but if I only use this myself, and I wash it myself... And I only put water in it, then I won't get grossed out. You guys are probably wondering what's gross about it. It's like knowing that I'm constantly reusing this lid. But, I don't know. I have OCD in like so many different ways. I'm just weird. Anyways. Um, I've talked enough. I've talked enough. I've talked enough. I just got done cutting some uh, semi-frozen chicken. Because it didn't thaw all the way, but that's okay. Um, I know this water looks gross, <laughs> but I'm making some chili, so I'll kind of just w walk through it just a little bit. So I'm just boiling this to cook it, and then I'm going to shred it, and it's actually going to go in the chili. This is our canned goods area. Lots of canned goods, so I'm going to choose the beans that I want. This is going to be simple chili, like it's not going to be a normal chili because I made it and I'm not normal, so you'll see. I will be adding two things of garbanzo beans, lentils, a seasoned black eyed peas, a diced tomato and green chili, a little thing of corn. I'll also be adding some zucchini that I put uh, some black pepper on, some edamame that I had to warm up in the microwave. I'll also be adding some pepper, a little bit of sea salt, some low sodium organic chicken broth, some minced garlic some taco seasoning for flavor, and some Texas Pete hot sauce for flavor. So with Crystal's help, thank you, uh, co-chef, <laughs> we're going to open these. Some of them we will drain, like the garbanzo beans we will definitely drain, and the corn will drain, the rest we won't. We're just going to pour it in this big old pot. You might need a spoon, because that's how life works. Oh. It's coming. So this is how we rinse our things. We have this little strainer. We pour the beans in there and then we run uh, cold water over it until there's really no more bubbles because what I think those bubbles are is like sodium and just preservatives. I could be wrong, but I like to think that. So we rinse it until we don't see that no longer. So this is how the chicken came out. And once you start shredding it, it's gonna look like this. And it's super easy to shred. All you need is fingers, so it's super easy. So after we put in both garbanzo beans, we're putting in the tomatoes and then the lentils, which we do not um, rinse. And then she's going to rinse the corn, add the corn, and I'll catch up with you guys in a minute. I have added all of the seasonings, and I'm going to add the zucchini and chicken. And then I'll probably add a little bit more seasoning because I like to taste it and see what else it needs. Since the edamame was already warm from the microwave, I just now added it last. So, this is how it looks. It's not 100% done yet. Still going to add a little bit more seasoning and whatnot. It's definitely not the chili one would expect. It's more like a mixture of beans and veggies. 
meat seasoning, but that's okay. It has a lot, a lot of protein, you guys. Um, and this will last Crystal and I a good three days, four days. And then obviously we'll throw it out if there's any leftover because I don't really keep leftovers for four days. So on the fourth day, we'll probably throw it out. So yeah. While our chili is warming up more on the stove, Crystal's over here doing the dishes for me and I just wanna say thank you, honestly. You guys have no idea, I appreciate her help so much because like she, she doesn't like doing the dishes. There's a lot of, you know, kind of people who don't like touching dishes and stuff. Ooh, something's burning in my eye. Doing the dishes, there's a lot of, you know, kind of people who don't like touching dishes and stuff. Ooh, something's burning in my eye. Oh my God, you guys, you guys just saw firsthand what just happened to me. I don't know. I normally wash my hands so many times when I cook. I guess I wasn't thinking and I think I touched like hot sauce. <gasps> oh my God, Crystal, I touched black pepper. So much black pepper because I like stuff spicy. Look at my mascara, it's all bunched up. You guys just got first hand of me doing something you like teach little kids not to do. Oh my God, I didn't wash my hands after I touched the black pepper. And I usually do. <laughs> I touched my eye. Okay, that really hurt, and you guys saw it happen. <laughs> what I was trying to say was, I just appreciate Crystal so much, because there's a lot of different types of people who don't really care for touching dishes, and she's been helping me a lot lately, so. Oh my god, this is so embarrassing. Okay, I'm better now. That was so stupid, that's all I can say. Oh, I just showed Crystal. Like, honestly, if you guys ever get something burning in your eye, <laughs> just get a rag, like, a clean rag, obviously, and wet it with cold water. It was Crystal's idea. It freaking helps. Like, just saying. So, I had this spinach and uh, feta chicken sausage, natural, organic, um, in the fridge, and I was like, why not add that in my chili? So this is how the chili looks so far. I'm gonna cook up the uh, sausage and then I'm gonna add that. So this is looking so amazing. The longer it cooks, the better it tastes, trust me. The sausage has gotten nice and brown, just how I like it. So I'm gonna add it in here. And I just wanna say, Something that would be super amazing. I'm not going to do it mainly because I feel like this is enough for Crystal and I and our program and what we're doing for weight loss. But I feel like if you guys put brown rice in this, it would literally just be amazing. Like 110%. Because I remember the last time I made chili, we just put the tiniest bit of rice in it. Like in our own bowls. But I feel like putting brown rice in this as a whole would be really really good so anyways I think it's about done got my chili which is amazing because I already tried it and I got my ice water now I'm ready to eat honestly this exact version of my chili I don't even know is thoroughly amazing when it comes to the seasoning seasoning just do it how you want to because I personally add a lot of pepper like all the time like to everything because I like spiciness I also add a lot of hot sauce and taco seasoning, but it's all up to you guys. Same with when it comes to your sea salt and when it comes to your garlic or when it comes to anything, you can put whatever you want in this. Um, chili doesn't always have to be the standard chili. As you can tell, I make mine completely different, but it's flipping amazing and I just love it so much. And if you don't like beans, definitely don't try this. So this is how the board looks this week. If you guys haven't watched my vlog from yesterday, I went to Target and bought this. So this just shows what I'm going to be doing for my exercises Monday through Friday. And then this is Crystal's Monday through Friday. And then in the middle, I put two quotes. I put, today is your day. Start fresh, eat right, train hard, live healthy, be proud. And then I put, do something today that your future self will thank you for. So, I love those quotes. I love this board. It's definitely going to come in handy again. I'm going to put it next to the elliptical right there on this wall when I get the chance. So, 
<sighs> now I'm gonna hop on the elliptical and do my exercise. Whew. Currently on the elliptical. So far I've been doing it for 26 minutes and 23 seconds. I've gone 1.573 miles. So I'm exhausted. I'm in a hot, tiny room. There's a fan on the elliptical, but I didn't turn it on. Anyways, I just wanted to share that with you guys because I'm out of breath, but I'm beyond proud of myself. Yay! And this is my view on the elliptical. The room door, Crystal's Miyavi picture, TV. Um, I got the, just some music playing, but yeah, that's what I see. And a light and a fan. See, I have this fan on, but that's on 24-7, but I don't have this one on. Whew, 47 minutes, 16 seconds, 2.754 miles, so that's almost three miles. I'm dead. Whew. I burnt 509 calories, you guys. I am so proud of myself. I think I'm going to make a goal of having to burn 500 calories Monday through Friday every single day. Whew, that's going to be a challenge because today was actually pretty hard, but not as hard as I thought. You guys, I am like thoroughly upset right now. Um, oh. I just enjoyed, like, absolutely enjoyed working out like that, and it felt amazing. It felt good. But now my throat hurts. I feel like, you know, asthma. I had asthma when I was, like, in sixth grade um, and below, but for some reason it kind of went away. Um, but every single time I do such, like, a grand exercise that's, like, super, like, hardcore for me, this happens. And it hurts. It's uncomfortable. It almost feels like pretty soon I'm going to stop breathing. Um, I don't know what to do. I don't have an inhaler. I haven't been diagnosed with asthma in years. Um... I just got medical insurance. I don't have a card for it yet, so there's nothing I could do about it until I get the card. Um, I just, I don't know what to do. I don't know if I should continue working out or if I should just do low-key things. I'm, like, devastated, to be honest. This, mm, I want to, like, cuss up a storm right now, but I'm not going to do it on here. <sighs> what should I do? Because I have no friggin' idea. I honestly just love the way exercising makes me feel. It makes me feel so proud. And I don't know, is it... I don't know, is it bad to have exercise-induced asthma? Like, if I'm not taking care of it? Like, could I die from it? Could anything super bad happen? I mean, I don't know. Like, should I keep, you know, pushing and exercising like I'm doing? Or should I not? I just... I really need your guys' advice. Um, I don't ask for advice often, but right now, like, I thoroughly need your advice. So please help me. Um, I just burnt 500 whopping amazing calories, and now I feel like I wanted to do that every day, and now I feel like I can't, and I feel like now I'm not going to lose the weight I want to lose, and I 100% can lose weight without exercising. That's the story of my life. But it's like, I want to be heart healthy. I want to be healthy on the inside. I want to, I want my heart to be able to handle things like that. And I feel like the only way that's going to happen is if I exercise. And I mean, you can even hear the rasp in my voice. Um, it's just, it sucks. Ugh, please, you guys, I'm asking for advice. Please let me know what I should do. I hope my vlog wasn't boring for you guys. I guess I, I nothing really happened today. It's still pretty much daytime right now. But um, I'm just kind of going to hang out for the night. Nothing really entertaining going to go on. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching again. Leave me advice in the comments below. Um, I'm begging for it. <laughs> I'll see you in my next video. Bye.